Come on along, come on along to the Shiremoor children's street. Come on along, come on along, many old friends you will meet. They come from miles around just to see the children play. It's good to see them happy and enjoy themselves all day. And that's what this is all about. In just a few hours from now, this deserted Northumberland field will be transformed into an event that hundreds of local children will remember for the rest of their lives. Found a member of the committee which first organised this occasion, Mr Nevin looks out onto an empty school field and remembers that since the turn of the century he has been emptying school fields at least once a year and attracting them to the other empty field we have just seen. The Shimo and District Annual Children's Gala will today bring together children and parents to share in these happy tidings which will last until sunset. A group of men back in 1907 decided they wanted to put something on. So they got together and went to the council and said, we want to do this. And to raise money for it, they went knocking on the doors around the streets in the Shiremore area and got enough money to put the first street on. And it's carried on every year since. The first arrivals to this deserted Northumberland field are the spearhead of a small army of helpers who during the next few hours will set the scene for an occasion that will be remembered for years ahead by the children and parents who will presently arrive in their hundreds to enjoy this day of fun and enjoyment. Shyamal and District Children's Annual Gala, first introduced in 1907, because at that time it sounded like a good idea, is perpetuated still today by a committee of 40 members and a host of unpaid helpers who mysteriously arrive year after year, so making the special day the success that it always has been. We used to collect a ticket at school the week before treat day, and the ticket entitled you to a bag of buns, and I can never remember if we had a cup of tea or orange juice, I really can't. Um, but on treat day we would assemble outside the school in Erston Village, uh, a local band of some description would arrive, and uh, at a given moment we marched, and we marched down the road from Erzden to the treat field, which is not where the treat is held now, which is the Shiremore Centre, it is where Backworth Station used to stand, which is now North London Park Station, and it was the field uh, on the left-hand side facing towards Hurleystone, and the treat was held there every year, it had been since 1907 actually. Entrance to the field is free for the children, and so too is a traditional box of cakes, which for some will provide enough sustenance to last them the rest of the day, but for others it's just the start of a gourmet-style afternoon's outing that will eventually reveal ice cream, candy floss, sweets, and an endless supply of their favourite pop. Now some of the bands who used to actually lead the children to the treat field were the marching jazz bands they were called. They're not actually jazz bands in so far as they play things like trumpets and trombones and saxophones. They play kazoos and the big drums and so forth. But they were quite a thing in the local area at the time. And on treat day, they marched in competition. colourful, amusing and pleasing to the crowds is a children's fancy dress parade. In the under five age group, Mark Johnson took the first prize as King Richard. Anna Marie as the fortune teller came second and third place went to Helen Turnbull as the bride. <laughs> And so regrettably the 1974 Shimo and District Children Daniel Gala draws to a close. 
as one by one the various groups, bodies, competitors and individuals leave for home. But perhaps you too will stop to think a while of the many unpaid helpers who have made this event the success it undoubtedly is. And if you have either cash or courage, perhaps you too next year might help these overworked people in their worthy task, even if it is only to help pick up the litter. But whatever help you can offer, it will only be rewarded by joy in the hearts of the children who will probably remember this day forever. If you've never had the pleasure of being here before, here is your chance, it's an ever open door. So come and have a look around. Come on along, come on along to the Shiremoor Children's Treat. Come on along, come on along, many old friends you will meet.